Right, hi everybody. Um, today we're going to be talking about Anderson plugs and uh, specifically how to make them up. Um, what I'm doing here is, because of the cold weather, I've been having to use my jump leads a hell of a lot. And uh, on a Defender, the battery lives under the passenger seat, and uh, so you have to keep removing the seat base to uh, get to the battery easily. So what I'm going to be doing, which is a very common thing on Land Rovers, um, is putting one of these on the side of the uh, seat box and then chopping off the other end of these jump leads and attaching one of these cables. So, what have we got? Well, to make these uh, a nice installation, we've got a protective boot which will go over the jump lead side and then a protective cover to go over the uh, battery side. These are the terminals that come with the Anderson plug. I'll go into those in detail a bit later. And also, because sometimes it gets stuck on, we've got a nice handle to uh, remove the Anderson plug when it's connected to the battery one. All right. For those of you not in the know, in a Defender, basically, a battery is under here. Ideally, I want this in a place where I can plug it in without having to open the passenger door because if you're ever stuck in a ditch and you flatten the battery for some reason then uh, you'll know why. Yeah, I think that might work. These are actually 175 amp uh, Anderson plugs. Um, I think they go up to 350. Originally they were designed for uh, forklift truck chargers stuff like that but obviously any high current application they're perfect for. The uh, reason they're so good at transmitting current is these uh, terminals which come with them are very special because they're um, silver plated which means they can take a lot more uh, current than the usual uh, copper and zinc or whatever they may plate them with. The problem is obviously because they're quite specialist they do need to be crimped properly but I don't have a proper crimping tool so the other alternative is to solder the terminals in. Once you solder the terminals on, you literally push them inside and there's a special metal plate there and the top of the plug actually latches over the top of the uh, metal plate in there and it's a nice solid connection then. And nice thing about these uh, jump leads is they're nice quality multi-strand cable so they should solder a lot better than uh, the really thick nasty cables. It's uh, it's worth spending a bit of money on decent cable because A it means it's a lot more flexible and the more strands the better it uh, transmits current. When you're doing this sort of cabling it's always important to get everything in the right order. So what I need to do before I do anything make sure I've got everything laid out. So we obviously need the cable protector boot to go on but I also want to make it a nice neat job by uh, heat shrinking the uh, over the terminal boots and the cable just to make sure I've got a really good tight seal. So these will go on first. These then need to be cut to go over the cable. So that will then slide down. I then want to slide another heat shrink over the top of that and what that will be used for is once the terminal goes on the top I'll heat shrink over that as well just to make sure it's all nice and sealed and uh, protected from the environment and so on. So to cut this to a uh, right size all I'm doing is plopping the connector on there taking my knife There we go. You can see the multi strands of the cable as well. Okay, so now we come to the actual soldering. Now, rather than using a normal soldering iron, that's not going to have enough heat to do this. Ideally, you should need a smaller torch than this, but this is all I have. So, um, the, the idea is you heat the uh, outside of that hot enough so you can then fill it 
about 60% full with solder. Now, obviously, you use a decent quality solder, and uh, the idea is then you get that nice and hot. You can then dip in the cable and uh, slowly lower it in so the strands of uh, copper then mix with the solder. The key part though is not to get any um, solder all over the uh, outside of this because uh, it uh, can affect the conductivity of the uh, special silver outside coating. Um, also be careful when you clamp it in the vise. Ideally I should have a soft chilled vise but again I don't have anything. I uh, should have put some bits of wood in there ideally. Ideally I'd have a wet cloth here to um, just wrap round the terminals and get it to cool down nicely. What you sometimes find when you've been uh, heating stuff up this much, the heat shrink already uh, starts closing up due to the uh, heat travelling up the cables and it can be a pig to get it on. So a little tip is get a thin screwdriver, stick it all the way in so it comes out the bottom and then you can just literally run it. Round or giving a little bit of force, and you can actually work the heat shrink over the joint. So they're all heat shrinked up, so uh, the next part is to uh, get them inside the actual Anderson plug itself. Now you've got to make sure you push them in the right way, and basically, if this lip needs to be against the flat part there. And obviously, make sure you get the black to the negative. And that's literally it. And then, again, there we go. So there we go, one complete plug. Just got to make up the other end for the battery. Now I've been lucky enough for the battery side of the connection uh, to have an old winch cable which has already got uh, the correct terminals on the other end which are nicely heat shrunk and uh, already prepared for me so uh, I've cut that nice and short uh, and uh, we're just going to put the Anderson plug on the end of this lovely stuff so let's get them fitted to the truck and there we go, there's the finished product um, this is some piece of packing material, I found it was the perfect size to run the cables through the hole. And, uh, there we go. Behind I've just used some M8 nuts as spacers just to bring it slightly further away from the seat box. Moment of truth. There you go. Chump leads powered. I'm going to put the handle on, it's uh, quite a lot, there's a hell of a lot of force to put that in, it's rock solid, so yeah, pleased with that.